So, Mr. Hawk, you, uh, you're sweating. You, you gonna make it to the match? Yeah, I'll make it. I'm just saying, Mark, and I need a soldier beside you. See, because I lost last year at Apocalypse to Katie Doobie. Alright? The most embarrassing, embarrassing moment of my life. The pie was great, but it was embarrassing. It burned my eyes. Tonight is Apocalypse 2007, a new leaf. And you know what? What? Don't speak. You know what? Tonight, it's going to be the new Eagles of Justice that are taking that number one contendership. Four-team match. I mean, well, let's, let's look at it. Crash Course already destroyed them. They suck. Fucking Mr. Happy looks like a canary. I wonder if he could join me. Nah. Anyway. Also, we got Paul Clement and Bianca Wilde. Biggest jokes of a team. I mean, I teamed with Bianca. And let me tell you this. She got her ankle broke by Flax. Who breaks their ankle catching Flax? Anyway. They're nothing. The only thing we gotta worry about is that mystery team. And I just have no idea who it could be. I'm... I'm... I'll be honest, I'm a little afraid. Where's your bet? Because I think we might need that to even the odds. Alright, listen. Night, Apocalypse 2007. All you fans out there that love hearing me sing, tonight's a reason to sing. I'm coming out there, and I'm gonna fucking blow the roof off this place. I don't even have words to describe how amazingly awesome I am. I am the Eagle of Justice. I am taking the titles. Tonight, what are we gonna do? Kick some ass. Well, I'm gonna kick some ass, you'll be there. Let's go. I joined the Emerald Embassy because of one thing. Todd Sopel's promise to bring Kyle Knight and myself to the next level. Well, that could have happened if Kyle Knight wasn't a little wah wah bitch boy. He was born a bitch, he is a bitch, and there is nothing, anyone, including him, that can be done about it. You know, he must look in the mirror every day and cry at the sight of himself. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. I agree. To be honest, I mean, even Bianca can elaborate on why she was here. You know, I got into the embassy because I wanted to be closer and nearer to the action. But of course Sobel had to make it miserable and ruin it for me. You know, and everything else that it is. But now, now it's our time. Pop. We're going in there tonight, and we will, and I make a very large will, will go in there and win the team title shots at Hellbound, and I'm doing it with Bianca Wilde, someone who happens to be ten times better than Kyle Knight ever was, <laughs> and ever will be. Man, it feels good to be at Apocalypse 2007. I know, man, it's an honor. We graduated from the development of the vision. We did. We made it to the main roster. Yeah, we worked hard for that shit. And we're taking this match tonight. Oh, crash course all the way, man. Say, who's gonna, who's gonna stop us? PC and Bianca? What kind of tag team is that? No. Bianca? Let's not talk about her. She can't even really wrestle. All After right, anyway. watching her, I mean, come on. Right, well, anyway, what we'll about the Eagles of Justice? Dad and that constipated bodyguard? What the? Nah, uh -uh. Screw that. What about the fourth team? Who are they? Let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about winning this match tonight. Let's go. Let's All right, go. Yeah. Let's, do it. All let's, right. Go. let's go do this. The following contest is a four-team elimination tag match. It has been stipulated that the winning team will get a WAW team title shot at Hellbound 2007. In a match of the winner's choosing. Entering first, Say Sorello and the Hawk, Eagles of Chester.
apocalypse continues now as the four-team elimination invitational match in which the winning team goes on to Hellbound, as our ring announcer told you, to challenge the team championship. We know three out of the four teams. We know that there have been speculations about who the fourth team could be, but I guess we're gonna have to just find out as soon as uh, Sage Zero and the Hawk make their way to the ring. I see that they're done playing around with the video camera that is set up there as an alternate angle in case this uh, main camera dies. Sage, if you mess with the backup camera, I'll kill you. Sage Zerella and the Hawk looking to go to Hellbound to challenge the WAW Team Championship. If they can make it through tonight, they just might. Well, let's go down to the introduction of our next team. Here comes team number two. And they're, they're a team in more than uh, the sense of the word. I mean, they are a team, ladies and gentlemen. They are, as you might say, love us. It is Paul Clement and Bianca Wild, former members of the now defunct Emerald Embassy, now out on their own, proclaiming their romance for one another. I gotta say, it's kind of awkward. Never saw it coming, but hey, I guess opposites attract. Whatever. What's, Paul's got himself a gift for Bianca, isn't that sweet? That's a gentleman. The Ain't that sweet. Probably got it at the flea market for 250. Me, the alpha, the gentleman. This Purple, huh, Paul? I thought you were a man of brown. Purple. I don't know. You look like a grape, a uh, grape licorice twist. I don't know. Whatever you want to call you. Maybe tonight we'll be calling you a number one contender to the team championship with Bianca Wild. She managed to not break her ankle thus far, so I mean, that's a good sign for them. Let's await the arrival of team three. Hey, I'm fresh as can get, bro. You go back to the trailer park, tough guy. Here comes team number three. It's Crash Course accompanied by Riley. There's Jay Chill, Mr. Happy. Hey, look at that, there's even Smokey. Looks like he recovered from being concussed by Gina Diomedes who uh, both practice skull until uh, a couple of weeks away. Smokey's been on the injured list for a couple of weeks making his return here at Apocalypse in the corner of Crash Course. He didn't say much. He doesn't do much. He just kind of hangs out. I wonder uh, what exactly smoke he means. Maybe it does mean he smokes, but let's await the arrival of Team... What the hell? This was a four-team elimination. I'm a lot quicker than you scumbags think. One, two, three, four. Team number two, Team Number One, Team Number One, Team Number One, Oh, here, here's some kind of music for our fourth team. Oh man, could it be? Will it be? And as a flame bursts from down below, that can only mean one team is gonna emerge. The one, the only, the returning asylum. Walko and the Jersey Devil have made a return after a two month hiatus. Nobody has known where the hell they are, but they are here at Apocalypse to, to stake claim to a shot at the WAW Team Championship. I am at a loss, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. Asylum is back. Well, the other participants in the match wasting no time in getting this one started. It's Jay Chill and Sage Zarello. It's a four-team elimination match. The Eagles of Justice crash course. Bob Clement and Bianca Wild and the returning Asylum all battling for a chance to go to Hellbound for the WAW Team Championship. 
your obvious favorite would be the former WAW Team Champions, Asylum, but you never know, they could be ring rust. They've been away for two months. They haven't touched the ring. We don't even know where Asylum has been for two months. So you gotta take that into account. All of these teams are hungry for a team championship match at Hellbound, and one of them will walk away with that title shot at the end of this contest. Jay Chill taking down the Hawk, and now Mr. Happy tagged in for Crash Course. The Hawk breaks it, shot to the face. We got ourselves a bit of a punching battle here. Mr. Happy now backs the Hawk into the rope, sends him off with an Irish whip. Both men block shoulders. Close line attempt by Mr. Happy missed. Oh, and he gets taken down by the Hawk. Sage Torello now tagged in for the Eagles of Justice. Irish whip by Zarello. Backs him into the ropes, completes the Irish whip. Takes out the legs of Mr. Happy. He's got him hooked. Swing shots him in and Mr. Happy falls over the back. He even rolled on the back of his head. Going across those knees. Sage Zarello taunting the returning Asylum. Sage taunting his 1-0 record against the Jersey Devil in one-on-one -on -one competition. And Sage Zarello pushes the face of Bianca Wild, who just low blows Sage Zarello right in front of the referee. Nothing against Paul and Bianca, but I mean, uh, Red Guy, if you saw that, that should have been a disqualification right there. Bianca now choking away Mr. Happy. She's absolutely having her way with this rookie. Mr. Happy up on his feet. And he just decked Bianca, hit her so hard he fell over. Bianca makes a tag to Paul Clement. I believe, yes, Mr. Happy has made a tag to Jay Chill. Bottle rocket by Paul Clement. Paul modified the bottle rocket after joining the Emerald Embassy to include a knee to the face upon landing. As if it wasn't bad enough. Irish whip on Jay Chill takes him down with a clothesline. Paul now off the ropes and falling fist drop. Two forearm shots by Paul Clement. Knee to the stomach, forearm to the back, and he makes a tag to Sage Zarello in hard fashion, and Sage Zarello gets clocked by Jay Chill as Zarello tries to pick his battle with Paul Clement, and Zarello going to town on Jay Chill, hammering away. Who are these people over here? Knee to the stomach by Zarello. What are we going for here? Could it be time and follow the leader. We get a cover, we get a count, we get three. Oh, and Mr. Happy gets floored. Crash course has been eliminated. The Eagles of Justice responsible for that one. And now here we go, it's the first dose of asylum in two months, Rock goes in, and he's a house of fire, as you'd expect him to be. What do we got here? No way. Ah, half a Rocco slam, just as good as a full one on somebody that big and that OP like the Hawk. And driving a knee to the back of the head, slamming him down. There you see Crash Course taking their lead. Rocco going over the top. The Hawk not quite following. So Rocco just grabs him and takes him down to the floor. And flying elbow drop to the Hawk. Jersey Devil now in the ring on the tagless rule, as is Sage Zarello. The Jersey Devil now going for the devil lock. He's got it locked on. Can he make Sage tap? Wait a second, here's Rocco. Completing it, we got the devil face and Sage taps out. We are down to two teams. Asylum and Paul Clement and Bianca Watt. Yes, I'd like to bet my house, my car, every bit of money I owe, uh, every bit of money I have on Asylum right now. Sorry, Paul. There we go. Here's why I bet all of that. 
Bones is trying to close line and didn't even stun Asylum. And I think Paul Clemens in trouble. Backing him into the ropes. Double Irish whip by Asylum. Tries for a clothesline. He ducks. Paul Clement tries to clothesline. He, he misses. Rocco's got Paul Clement hooked. Jersey Devil now. Kick to the face. German suplex. Paul Clement landing on his shoulder. That looked disgusting. Paul Clement now up on his feet. Double hip toss by Asylum. Oh, double kicks. Vintage Asylum. I mean, it's only been two months since we've seen him. But damn it, is it good to see it again. It's been too long without Asylum here in WAW. Could it be time for the flying headbutt combo? One flying, one corkscrew. Here we go, corkscrew, flying headbutt. The Jersey Devil now, getting all charged up. And wait a second, Bianca Wild in, jumping on Rocco, and she gets dumped over. Jersey Devil now, trying for the devil lock on her, possibly, but he gets shoved back by Bianca. What surprising strength there. Paul Clement takes Rocco out. Jersey Devil catches Paul Clement with a kick to the stomach. He's got the arms hooked. Rocco's got the legs. Could it be? Locked down by Asylum. This should do it. We get one, we get two, we get three, and we get Asylum heading to Hellbound. Yes, Asylum and Hellbound for the WAW Team Championship in a match of their choosing. The last time Hellbound took place was 2004, and it was there that Rocco won the Hellbound match and the Hellbound Championship. He's not gonna be competing for that again, but he'll be competing for another title, the WAW Team Championship. And now, Asylum awaits the winner of tonight's FMJ DWI best two, three out of, best two out of three falls. I got twisted on my words there. They await the winner of that match as Asylum celebrates, throwing the candy out to the crowd. I'm still in total shock that Asylum even showed up for this one. Nobody knew where they had gone, what they were doing. The Jersey Devil's got the Hall of Fame contract so he can do what he pleases. We don't know how Rocco was able to go away for two months. Maybe he had requested vacation time. You never know with Asylum. FMJ, meet you makers at Hellbound. We're taking back our belt. See you in 13 weeks at Hellbound. <laughs> And Rocco telling DWI and FMJ to bring those belts to Hellbound. Coming up next at Apocalypse, it is gonna be a submission match between Freakin' Flax and Sergeant Charles Hatchett. 